everybody off pro exterior services here with another beautiful property uh cl close proximity to the homestead so this was a referral <laughs> another referral so uh it needs a roof wash but we, he says wait on that we're gonna hit the flat work pretty long driveway house wash so we're gonna get that done got a nice shady front area not so much on the sides but not a big deal we got the ar today we're gonna be running just uh rolling with it let's see what we had on bleach we just had to go back and fill up because we was running low but we we're uh i don't know 53. we're gonna go through our settings here always clean this out now so we're gonna do that come in to about right there put our soap on that and we're golden baby we're using the ar which has been a beast for us and again i use it mainly for house washing i built it for house washing so you got any picks before and after now's the time to get them uh so we're gonna get it done so we'll catch up peace oh one thing you see all this overgrown we're just gonna go up to the overgrown we're not clearing overgrown so it's all good catch up peace all right guys we're on the first side of the shed we're just trying to make sure our mix is right we had about a 1.2 1 1.4 hey look it's it's a standy waiting on soap Come on, soap. Make sure we got it on. Oh, wait, go see if the soap valve is open. The middle one? See, that's SH. SH, baby. There we go. Now we're getting a little bit of size, but I still think we didn't have this. I didn't have the soap on. My fault. Was it on? You, you cut it on for me, huh? Some people, some people don't wash with no uh, soap. You don't need soap, but you know, it's cool to have. Somebody hit that with a wand. Hit that roof for him. Just JSC. Oh, I smell it. It's for sure working. It's that northern side right here, baby boy. My marking point. Just let it roll, just let it roll. Let it do its magic. What you turn the soap on, five? Okay. Put it on five. I still don't see no soap. What? It should be on five. All right, guys. We on a one. We did the shed. One side, two side. It's the third side. Got all the flat work. We got to get up, cleaned up. Uh, waiting on soap. Customers are cool. We got most of that shed done, but it uh, it definitely 
It definitely needs some love. Here we got soap. Yeah, we do, baby. All pro soap right here. That's that proprietary mix. Hit this sign. I like these last jobs close to the house, you know? Kind of nice. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to shoot this way to avoid hitting my bushes, although I watered them. Get your pole while you're over here. You got to get them angles. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and turn my soap off. Because all we got left to do is this front. And I hit that on the last run. Get that side the pole. Sure we'll get all that nasty stuff. All you need is a good coat and let it sit. It works magic, trust. Trust me when I tell you. Alright guys. I'm gonna let this sit. And when it's sitting, I'm gonna be watering those other plants, getting ready for the next side. I'm gonna hit this with the flat work too. All this. So a little pre-tree ain't gonna kill it. Although it's a house wash, it's all good. All right, I'm gonna get rolling and catch up with you in a minute. So we're gonna go ahead and wet this down. Put a little water on our, our plants. And I like the end right here because when I pick up, I'm right here, look, boom. As well on the end. So anyway, all right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and get this done. Rinse this side, let it marinate. And if you need to let it marinate a little more, it's all good. Just don't let it dry on the windows if you can. That's the key part, especially with that hot heat. And the customer, you know, when we're talking, I don't know if you see under here. All that stuff, all that mold. Customers like, man, it, I don't, I can't get, I can't buy nothing to get that on. I said it's all good. We got that proprietary. Hit them windows. Look at that, boy. That's that proprietary. I can hit most of this from over here. Cause it ain't rained over here in a minute. It rains every now and then. We haven't been getting much rain lately. Look at that, hitting that from here. Working them angles. I think I hear thunder now. I don't know, is that thunder? All right, looks clean to me. We're gonna go ahead and rinse it off and get, get back to business. And we'll get some driveway footage. I get, I get some, uh, I got some good feedback on driveway footage, like, you know, get more of it, so. We got one more driveway footage. That's what we do. This is our customer. Oh, gotta go. This is a customer. Peace. All right, guys and girls, did the house. Doing the flat work now. Anthony jumped on this. I just finished the house. Came out beautiful. Homeowner loves it. Looks good. Looks good. So we're just uh, hitting this groundwork. And we're going to get to the trailer and pull the trailer on the street. And then roll out. Another one bites the dust. I would get more flat work footage here, but it's going to be a minute. Uh, Anthony's doing his due diligence. And, and you know, he's the uh, surface cleaner VP, property protection VP. Dude's, dude's making moves. Dude's making moves. Anyway, I'm going to go help him out. We'll catch up. Peace. I just got that Honda dipping, baby. Dipping. 
Anyway, we're down here. We did the online, did, doing this. We did the front of my truck. We're gonna pull up. You see, we got a. Let me show you. Got the slug sucker out already for some action. I've been squeegee in it as well while Tony's doing that. But we got heavy lines. Just heavy, heavy. Gonna post treat. Don't, don't worry, don't worry. Uh, so we got a holding thing here. I told the customer just dig a trench, but he's got a dip in his uh, concrete. So anyway. <coughs> We're gonna go ahead and uh, move the truck, you can see. Hopefully I got enough room here to get past this point. Anyway guys, sorry about that, my camera got jacked. A lot of people ask what I use for a camera. I use the Osmo Action, the first one. There's another one that came out recently, I think a few months ago, I thought about getting it, but mine's working great. Uploading them bids. Trying to, trying to get some education. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and finish up this rinse it move the trunk hit it rinse it we did this too and post tree be out all right peace everybody off pro exterior services coming at you with another just some flat work we did discuss a roof wash so the situation here is the client selling a the house they posted the house for sale by thursday my real the, the realtor who we've uh do a lot of work with she you know gave me a little referral so he called me and uh, needed something pretty quick. So due, due to uh, the relationship I have with the realtor and the business she sends, I tend to kind of make some, if like a flat work or something easy, we can come out and knock it out pretty quick. We just put her up in the schedule. So we got this job. Uh, guy's moving out of, out of the uh, state, going to another state. So we figured uh, we'll go ahead and get it done. So we, been, we just pulled up. We always like to try to cut in first. It just makes for an easier process later because I got a habit of once I'm done surface cleaning, I get on the rinse mode and I forgot, oh geez, I got to come back and cut in. So, and anytime I have culverts like this, let me show you where the side is exposed, always get the side that exposed because it's appearance, right? So look at that. So we always get that. Now I don't post treat that. I just hit it with a little pressure. just like we're doing here, so. Get some hose for Tony. Uh, get that cut in, and uh, we already cut in the garage, a little walkway here. And we'll knock this out on a quick, and then uh, get out of here. It, it, we're supposed to get some rain tonight, but although I'm not gonna lie, we need some rain. We need a break. I wish it would rain tomorrow, I'll be honest with you, but uh, we, it's been hot. Got a little overcast right now, which is good, but uh, anyway, we'll catch some footage here in a minute. All right, peace. On the surface cleaning, just started. We just, I wanted to tell you guys, I just, I just swapped my, well, I haven't yet. I, on the last guy, we just did another job and I was post the driveway with the 12 volt and it just stopped working. Second one in a month, but the Everflow. Seems like they've been going down. I used to get six, eight months out of them, sometimes a year to treat it, right? I mean, it's crazy. Uh, anyway, they must be going through a bad batch. So I need to come up with another solution with another brand. Uh, of some sort so anybody got any suggestions I, I know a lot of people have been running Remco so I may give that a shot uh, so we'll see but anyway uh, I may even go to an air pump I hate to have another mechanical device like a compressor on my truck or a trailer but I may get one of them little uh, King uh, King things uh, King, uh, thing they got out of Texas Belgium anyway we'll catch up peace all right, guys and girls, we got the, uh, hey, y'all, we're getting some soap in here in a minute. Got a little bleach in there, so I'm going to clear the lines out real quick. Hit these plants. We got low pressure. We don't need a whole bunch of stuff. 